All right, welcome back. Uh, we're looking at another free response question, and uh, this is when this one's a differential equation. We don't have a slope field to to look at, um, but we do need to find the particular solution uh, to this dy dx satisfying the situation where zero x is zero equals uh, gives you a y of one half. So. Um, <clears throat> This is a problem that doesn't involve an LN. Well, it does, but not the way we're used to seeing them. So let's take a look at it. If you cross multiply here, you get e to the 2y times dy equals 3x squared dx. And now we have the variables separated with the dy's matching up with the y's and the x is matched up with the dx's so we can integrate both sides and then we'll plug in and solve for c and um, find the equation so remember anytime you're finding a solution it's going to be in terms of y so don't leave it in terms of 2y or e to the 2y or anything like that so let's proceed here well e to the y this is a nice little review. e to the y, the integral of that would just be e to the y plus c, right? But we don't just have a y, we have a 2y, so we actually need a 2 sitting in front of that integral, right? So if we need a 2 out there, we can just place a 2 out here. It's just a constant. That's legal provided that we put a 1 half out there. Um, 3x squared is good to go. We don't have to worry about any kind of substitution there. So let's go back to integration here. So the integral of this would be 1 half e to the 2y. Remember we're going to put our constant over here with the x's. Uh, here you add 1, right? Add 1 to that and you get 3 over 3 x to the third plus your constant. Well, a 3 over 3 will cancel, right? So all we're left with is x cubed plus c. And now let's plug in our known values. So we have 1 half e to the 2, it's really tough for me to write, e to the 2 times 1 half, right? is equal to 0 cubed plus c. Well, 2 to the 1 the second power times a half equals 1, so our constant is just equal to 1 half of e. All right, so we found our constant. Making some progress on this. <clears throat> and we don't need this right here. So going back to blue we have one half e to the 2y is equal to x cubed plus one half of e that's our constant and I guess we could multiply out by by 2 here, couldn't we? Get rid of this fraction, might make it a little bit easier. So if I multiply the left side by 2, I can also multiply the right side by 2. Of course, that just cancels, and you get e to the 2y is equal to 2x cubed plus e. When I distribute that 2 in there, right? Cancel it out. So now let's take the natural log of both sides. So we're going to take the natural log of the left side and take the natural log of the right side. So we have e to the 2y and we have 2x to the third plus e. Alright, well the natural log of e to the 2y is just going to leave me with 2y 
and then we have that 2x cubed plus e and then uh, divide by 2 or multiply by half whatever is going to give us uh, up here y is equal to 1 half Oh, we don't need the parentheses there, do we? We're just multiplying by one term here. Natural log of x to the, excuse me, 2x to the third. This video is riddled with mistakes. <laughs> Natural log of 2x to the third plus e. Okay, so that's that. All right, part B says to find the domain and range of the function in part A. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and erase uh, this portion right here because we got our answer. And let's talk about the, the domain and the range. Well, you know I couldn't do this problem without drawing a graph. This is the natural log of x and you notice that I didn't draw this very well but you notice that uh, this point right here of course is 1 comma 0 and that the graph approaches the y-axis but it never crosses so we know that your x's have to be greater than 0 right well that's true when it's a regular x. So what do we know about this? That means basically that whatever's in the parentheses here has to be greater than zero. So I'm going to concentrate on solving this portion right here and just set it set it uh, greater than zero. So that's it. Let's see here. We're doing this. Do this in red, I suppose. So the domain is going to be where 2x to the third plus e is greater than 0. And so we just subtract e. It's a horrible e. And then we divide by 2, we get um, x to the third. It's got to be greater than a negative e divided by 2 and then we're going to take the cube root of both sides and x has got to be greater than the cube root of negative e divided by 2 so the domain could be just written like that or you could, you know, you could write it in another form, but that's, this will satisfy our domain. And what about the range? Well, what's the range of just regular L, <coughs> excuse me, ln of x? The range continues all the way down this, when it gets close to that asymptote. And when you approach it, as you approach this direction, it continues to increase in height. So it looks like the range has no restrictions. So, you know, I guess for the range, we could say that uh, y is a set of all real numbers. Or perhaps you want to write it like this y is greater than negative infinity and positive infinity on this side that would satisfy the same thing so anyway <clears throat> don't be <clears throat> don't be scared of these differential equations <clears throat> it's just a uh, separation you, you get your y's on the left along with your dy and all your x's on the right along with the dx's and um, you know if they give you a particular point here like they gave us this particular point when x is 0, y is 1 half, you just use that to resolve or fix your c, solve for c. 
And um, just remember that when you're solving this, your final form it needs to be, when possible, right here, where y equals something, not 2y or anything like that. So anyway, um, good luck with the rest of the studies.